Hello my darlings and welcome back to San Myshuno. We are back in the Uptown District area, back at Gaia Health Spa and Gym today. Last time we finished off the basement area which included the gym, the indoor hot springs and also the changing rooms. Today we're going to be finishing off the whole build by furnishing up the reception area and all of the treatment rooms. So let's get to it. Happy Wednesday, my loves, and welcome back to the final part of the Gaia Health Spa and Gym for Let's Build the World. Hello, welcome back. So last time, as you know, let's get some daylight here, please. Thank you. Last time, what we did was finish off the basement area and all of the bits and bobs that we needed for down here. Played around with this in a bit of gameplay as well and it all works really nicely. Everyone is using everything, apart from the hot spring. I find that quite weird. I wish they would just come in and use it. I had to get my sim to go in and use it. So that's what you'll probably have to do as well. Um, but what we're doing today is the main reception area here and also all of the treatment rooms up here. So if you remember, massage rooms. Then we've got a bit more of like a... A, a mud room i'm calling it a mud room but that just sounds weird to me where you come and have a mud bath and then you get your feet and your hands massaged and your nails done all of that kind of good stuff and then we've got a little meditation room and a sauna here as well so that's what we're going to do let's make a start so we're going to do the reception area first if you remember what i said i wanted this area to be was a very relaxed kind of uh chill out area you know where the patrons could come and just chill sit around get booked in for massages and just have this area as a nice little moment I, I just think that's the perfect way and I had to put a thermostat in here as well because everyone was shivering their tits off walking around in their towels and it just wasn't the vibe for us it really wasn't we don't want to be known as the spa of cold do we <laughs> we don't want to be known for that and you know it's absolutely something that we do not want to be known for. <laughs> um, anyway, we're moving on because that is embarrassing. I'm going to put this reception desk. I think I'm just going to do it, wrap it around that way, just where the main entrance is and they come in through this way here. I think that would be perfect, but I would love some kind of detail behind the desk, but I don't know what I want to do. Maybe, mm, why don't we try and use those bamboo... Uh, plants maybe those could work the strip ones I know they're the most expensive ones these here what about if we put a couple of these like behind the reception desk and let me turn you around the other way because I don't like when it looks too copy and pasted and just have a little bit of greenery just like around there can I get you in there you little shit there you go I mean <laughs> let me just see this with the with the thing up uh it's not i'm not vibing with it to be honest with you i'm definitely not vibing with it but we're kind of stuck on what else i could put there really because it's got a half wall i can't do any kind of like architectural detail behind it i might just have to leave it as is for the minute and hope for the best well we'll see what happens what we need to do is get a little uh pc in here so they can get booked in for the massages and whatnot i always go for this computer when i'm in a uh, like a commercial community lot I don't know why but I do I absolutely do and then like a nice desk chair do you come in a black oh you do oh wonderful well we'll use you then we'll flop that there and we definitely need some kind of stuff on here we need like a little welcome drink maybe some nice plants so I'm going to pull out a variety of things for that and I'm also going to go and pull out all of the chairs that I want to use around in these parts here so let me do that and I'll be back in a jiffy. Okay, so I got rid of those bamboos behind here because it was awful, wasn't it? So I thought, why not put this in? We're probably going to utilize this object as well in the actual treatment rooms itself. I just love it. I love the candles on this. That's an object that stood the test of time that has, that really hasn't aged. We definitely need some candles on the front reception desk. I'm going to put some of those floaty ones there. Also some products to sell. I think it'd be very beneficial for the company itself to have some products for sale. Um, some welcome drinks. Flop some welcome drinks there. A bit of incense to make the reception area smell absolutely stunningly gorgeous. But put those there as well. 
um, a little bit of this, whatever that flower may be, just for attractiveness. I thought that'd be lovely. I also added in a speaker into this room to just pump this room full of new age sounds. And this is the furniture combo that we're going to go for down here. You remember I said I want this area to be a little bit more woody sort of feeling rather than sort of earthy like the ground level or the basement. Um, so I brought out some wooden tones. I also put in a fireplace and that got me thinking. I was like, well, well I can't really put a chimney breast going all the way through here. But I did put a chimney um, what, pot, chimney spout. Put one of those there and i also added in one down here as well like an outdoor one so if you're down at this level and you're by the bar and it's a bit cold you can put the fire on and sit around and get nice and cozy and warm well that was a lovely little touch so that's what we're doing yesterday i'm dead right so pride of place we're going to do a little moment here i think i want to put four chairs around by the fireplace so hopefully i can squeeze them in in a good enough spot let me flop you to there you there We'll keep you in the middle to act as some kind of coffee table. And then I can whisk these around and flop these in this moment here like this. And I think it's a nice area as well if you're wanting to look at some treatments and stuff. Maybe I could even put in a little menu or something. Maybe use that dine out fail safe one and flop that on top here if you will come on. There we are. And... I'll go for the brown one as well. Again, bringing those woody tones in. Just some treatment menu stuff going on there. Yes, that would be lovely. Do I want to add something above this fireplace? I think I do. But I don't really know what I want to add up there. Oh, do you know what? Actually, I think I want to add some more of the branding of this uh, spa itself. So I'm going to flop that above the fireplace, I think. And maybe put some nice flowers up on top of the um, fireplace itself. But maybe I could put this on here as well. Yeah, maybe not there though. I think you need to come onto the main desk area. There we go. If I can like flop you to there. Oh yes. Yes, that's the ticket. Oh, for all that. And then I want to add some more of these rugs, or at least some of these rugs around here. Shall I size it up? Would you look weird being sized up? Let me see. Oh, actually that works. Oh, that does work, yes. Yes, indeed. And I do want to add some... Oh, I, I haven't put one of these in yet. Let's go for an earthy tone again. <gasps> yes, we'll flop you down to there. And maybe I can put up the pebbles on top of there, the fireplace. I mean, it is floating, but we're just going to pretend that it's not. Yes, that's a good vibe. Oh, I do enjoy that. And there is hardly any lighting in this area. So I think maybe even adding some soft lamps. I don't want this area to be like overlit. I want some nice soft lamp moments. Do we have any? No, we don't have any of that. Let me find a good lamp that could work with all of the seating area. Let's use these balls. Let, let's use these light balls. But I might do like a cluster of like smaller ones and bigger ones next to each other. And then gobble them, gobble them all up. I couldn't get that out then, but you know what I mean. I was just trying to be filthy. Yes. Oh, yes. That's giving off a lovely vibe, that is. Okay, well, we're going to do that all the way around here. Um, I reckon we could get in maybe, uh, we could do some here as well. Yeah, let's do another set of four here. So if I can flop you to there, you there, put them in all these kind of crisscross positions. I just think that would work quite well and still leave enough room for special awareness. The same here as well. Let's do more here and here. And then let's get the ones with throws out on them too. Just looks snuggly and beautiful. This that's why I wanted to do winter as well because I don't know why I just I had this Nordic vibe, Nordic vibe coming through because of that reference image, and I thought this place would look great in the snow, and it did. It did absolutely look marvelous in the snow. Let me see that. I might have to maneuver everything, but I'm going to get everything down first, and then we'll do it after. Yeah, we definitely need to maneuver everything. I've not really made this very equal, have I? Oh, yes, this area is going to be fabulous. Right, okay, so let's get some good positions going down here. And I think I'm just going to size up those rugs and put them throughout as well. And I wouldn't mind getting some bamboo and stuff down here. Maybe even some plants that are hanging from the ceiling. That could be a vibe. Let me do this. I mean, this one's not too bad. Yep, it's this one here that's in such a mess. I can flop you over to there. Bring you to there. Doesn't need to be all perfect. 
Because life is not perfect, love. Spoiler alert. It's really, really not. Oh, <laughs> that's the wrong thing. I want the little fur rug, please. Plop you to there. Bring, oh, bring you over here as well. Uh, maybe we want to turn you this way on this part. And then the same here with that one. Yes. Now let's get some of those treatment menus going around. We'll flop one there. Gorgeous. Beautiful. And I want to use those balls. <laughs> and I'm going to put one each. Uh, a set of two. A set of two balls. Both different sizes. And I'm going to flop them next to each seat. I think it would just look really cute. Let me see what this is going to look like. Oh, in fact, I'm going to change these two around. Oh, move you. Pop you to there. Bring you like that. And let me see this in the night time. Oh, yeah, the moody lighting is doing it for me. But I do think we still need to add in some of these lights on where, well, where we can put them, especially around here. Uh, and I'm going to do some lighting in the little Zen garden area as well. Definitely need some lighting over here. I don't know how we're going to do that. Oh, I could maybe like travel up the stairs with these. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to travel up the stairs with them, but I'm going to size them down like this. And oh, that's a bit. There we go. Yep. And is it that one? It's that one. And this one. And that one. And then one more. Beautiful. Oh yes. Yes, that's the vibe there. That is the vibe. And then, as I said, I want some lighting here. Do I want to use these? What way do you light? You're lighting that way. So if I lit you this way, size you down quite a lot. Is that shadow going to stay there? Oh, it is. Well, we'll get rid of that then. Use these ones instead. Because these still give off a nice little bit of light. Maybe I could add one like there. One over in this corner here. One there. And then another one on that corner there. Like that. Yeah, but it's not given enough light. What about if I used that one I was going to use, but size it right down? Oh, no, because of the shadow aid and you silly bum. Hmm. Okay. Well, I still need this area lit up a little bit. Ooh. What's stopping us from doing some kind of sculptural light? Ah, oh, do you know what one's just popped in my head? That, like, twirly-whirly one. I wonder if we could use that here in the black. Pop that into this corner. Because it looks like a sculptural piece, doesn't it? Oh, yes, I think that's going to be the ticket. Yeah, that's the lighting I want. Yes. Oh, oh I'm thriving. I really am. I really dislike where that, that's ruining the aesthetics, but we do need it because we don't want our sims to burn to death, do we? And then maybe I could pop one there just so it's not on the windows. Do you know what? I think that's going to be the ticket right there. Yes, that is the entrance to the spa. Oh, I'm thriving. I'm for it. I really am. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm just going to try something. Let me get rid of these. What about if we could add the balls into this area as well? I'll only do like a set of two on each side. Oh, it gives off a nice bit of light as well. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? I think I prefer this. Yes, I do prefer that. Oh, I'm for it, loves. I'm into it. Let's have a little look with the... I hate this. <gasps> I hate that gap. I noticed that earlier, but there's no way I can get rid of it. <sighs> I'm going to try and get rid of that somehow. Give me one sec. And that's how I sorted it. I mean, you can only see it when you come into the kind of tab mode anyway, but it makes me feel better. I used the curtain rods from the... Um... Oasis... No, what was it called? Desert Lux Pack. Um, but yeah, and I also furnished these toilets. So just a simple toilet complete with that um, virgin milk, not virgin milk. That's absolutely disgusting. <laughs> that soap that I was on about last time. I ended up putting some privacy bars on this window as well, just because this is accessible back here. I mean, your Sims could walk around if they wanted to and they could peep in and see people weeing. So we didn't want that. No, we did not indeed. What else did I do? Oh, I also put some benches out here with a little plant pot. And I also carried this lights, carried the lights all the way around as well. So it just frames that whole area in there quite nicely. I do believe indeed. But yeah, I'm kind of for that. I think that is looking absolutely marvellous. 
we are complete we are done with the reception area so we are going to come up now and we're going to do a treatment room um i'm just going to do one every single one's going to be exactly the same uh so let's get on with one and then we will move on to the other different rooms that we've got going on here so this is what we're going to go for and we're just going to copy this one over to this one here so i just want to show you first so we've got a little fridge with some face masks and cucumber peels and all of that kind of good stuff there a little ottoman here with a towel and maybe some i don't know some hot oil or something where you can sit down just after your massage and have a drink of water when the, the therapist leaves the room and then over this side here two massage tables remember doing we're doing Remember, we're doing kind of like a couple's room and then just a singular one over here. Um, and then I've got some towels up and some shelves here, some more products, some tissues, um, some incense, a mirror, some more products there. And I just think that works. I think that's going to be really nice for gameplay as well. A nice moody bit of lighting in here as well. And then obviously a speaker in the room where we're going to be pumping through some new age sounds. So let's get them into this room um and then make a start on this one here so we're just literally going to copy exactly what we've done on that part there uh we're going to bring in these holy moly dividers and flop them either side one there and one there gorgeous that little fridge little mini dispenser bring you to there my darling put some rocks on top for some reason don't know why don't ask me i just thought they looked marvelous a little bit of bamboo bring the bamboo to there like that little ottoman gorgeous lock that one into that side and then bring in that little stool and turn it a bit of a jaunty angle into that corner there like that and then over to this side here um this little hall table i'm gonna pop you there more products on here as well we'll just copy everything over to this one you'd think by now i've learned to know the hot key um, to copy objects but i just never use it i don't know why i do not know why i never use it i should use it more because it's so much easier than going up here but do you know what when you get used to building a certain way you stick with it don't you and don't be worried about that love if that's the way that you build then you crack on you crack on and do what you gotta do don't let anybody tell you any different these ones here Got them either side like that gorgeous let's get some tissue on the go oh we've alternated here how exciting <laughs> And then we're going to get some towels, flop the towels in each of these shelf shelving moments. Flop them around to here like that. Gorgeous, gorgeous things. I think that's exactly the same, isn't it? Yes. Got some incense. Did I put incense in? I did. We flopped in the incense. We got the music going. Oh, it's going to be marvellous in there. It really is. And then I'm just going to do the same for this single one here. And there we go. I finish off the single room. I also put in some robes into each of the uh, treatment rooms as well, just to make it look like they could whip it off and get massaged. Um, very nice indeed. I also put out some plants in the kind of like the hallway area and also an aquarium. I just thought that added something nice to here. Didn't want to do too much here. I think it's absolutely fine. So this room here is going to be that mud bathroom. Uh, so I definitely want to cater for this uh, with, I definitely want it to cater for couples. So we're going to do like two, maybe we could do them like next to each other. That would be kind of cute, wouldn't it? If you could have like two like baths next to each other somehow. I do like that idea, but I think it needs to be by the window. What about if we did like one this way and one that way? I know because they would have to face each other they would be facing each other that way wouldn't they if i pull that out yeah that's kind of a cute idea i like that and then we can pop them together like this yes oh imagine that for you when you're in that bath i would be for it and then doing two massage chairs like just right up against the wall i think would be absolutely perfect do i want to use black ones or do we want to go for another nope nope no we don't <laughs> just remembered what the swatches were like no we bloody don't at all so i don't want much in this room i definitely want to get some more candle ambience in here so i think i want to add one in behind here like this like that and then maybe one over in this corner too very nice indeed um probably want to add in some of those bamboo 
rugs underneath of the actual bath area themselves. I'm just going to put them on this way. They probably get in it different ways, but I just think... Oh, I really wish the default snap was a bit better. There we go. Oh, okay. That's a bit... We'll, we'll, we'll do that. That'll be fine. They'll be able to get out there then. Yes. Adding in some more of those bamboo... Um, plants as well. I used the hotkey then. Did you see me? Oh, I used the hotkey to copy it. Very proud of myself. Popping them down there. Maybe getting in some towels. Uh, I would probably... I'm going to use these ones. Use these ones here. The little towel racks. Next to each of the baths over on this area here. One there. And also one there. Yes. And then I want to add in more gowns i think what i'm gonna do is just put two up like this one there and one there like that so they can whip them off definitely need some kind of music in here as well we would want some of that beautiful music coming through so i think i'll add that above the door like that um i think i want to add a couple more of these in you know i might do one more on this side here like this Yes, but mm, I would like some incense in here. I could put the incense on the floor in here, you know. And also maybe just make it look a little bit more romantic with some candles around the place. Uh, I wish this could go on top of something. Maybe I'd need to find a little bit of a surface for over there and put that incense there. But then using these candles and plop them down by the bath or even just like right up against the window like this. Oh! Oh, I didn't even know that it could do that. Oh, well, slap me on the tits. That's what we're doing. Oh, it's a bit overkill. I think we need to do like asymmetric like that. Oh, I still want to add some down here as well, though. I'll add a couple just down either edge like that next to the plants themselves. I mean, that's very precarious, but we're going to we're going to do it anyway. I did not even know that was a thing. How long has Spa Day been out? <laughs> <laughs> and I did, I'm learning something new every day, darlings. I really am. So maybe I could bring up that same surface here and put this in the bath. The, the bathing room. That's what we're going to call it. The bathing room. Pop you down to there. Pop you there like that. Oh, do you know what would be good in here? Oh, we could get some drinks in here, couldn't we? Like the drink tray in this room. So you can have like a bath with a little Prosecco or champagne, whatever your choice. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Uh, incense. Can I add? The oh my God. Je ne sais quoi. I, I, I did think and it worked. Well, we'll add the incense there then. We'll, we only need one. It's fine. Yeah. I think that's going to work, loves, don't you? I think that's going to be absolutely perfect. Oh, well, there we go. We've got a little mud bathroom as well. I'm not going to put any privacy here because people would need binoculars to look in. And maybe you've got something wrapped around your bits and bobs when you go into the actual bath anyway. Who knows, you know? So, a meditation room. Hmm. I'm going to need to pull out a few things for this room, I think. So, let me do that. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to put a fountain in here. I'm going to put an absolute bit of a water feature. And I might do it on both walls. I'm a bit worried about space. I would love four meditation stools in here, but I think we might be pushing our luck a little bit. I'm going to give it a go, though. I've not tested this, but we're going to give it a... We're going to testicles it together, loves, to be honest. Um, I have put some drains down, so the water goes through, gets filtered, and it gets pumped out into the um, thermal spot, the thermal pool. It's very technologically advanced. Um, and that is the storyline. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming to my wonderful storytelling. <laughs> I know that you all love them. I know you all too. <laughs> um, plants, of course. I'm going to add these wonderful little hangy plants in each of these corners. Do you want to add it in these corners as well? Maybe. Or is that a bit overkill? Let's have a look. Let me see. Is it a bit copy pasted if I do that? Yeah, I think it is. I think what I'm going to do is add one in each corner like this. Hoping that it's not going to be glitching through anywhere. And then also add in the bamboos just to bring the spa aesthetic that we've got going on into this place. 
Now, the only thing I was worried about with these meditation stools is how close it is to this door. I think it still would work in theory, but we're just going to trial it anyway. And I'm going to do meditation stools directly opposite each other. Oh, you're in the wrong position. Let me see where this one ends. It ends there. So that was there. And then I could do another one there. So in theory, they should be able to use these. Water trickling sounds. Great view of the like vista. The mountain tops. I'm just a bit worried about that door. But maybe when the massages, I mean, meditation is in progress. Not, nobody's allowed to walk in anyway. I'm not going to do anything with the sauna. I think the sauna is fine as it is. I have put up some um, dressing gowns outside today with some robes. And I think that's absolutely fine. <gasps> Guys, I think we're done. I think we've got everything that we need in here. I think it's only right that we go and have a little look at this in gameplay and see how it is running. So let me flop on over to live mode and we'll take a little tour around the Gaia Health Spa and Gym. And so here we are, my loves, at Gaia Health Spa and Gym. Um, it obviously looks a little bit different because it's in the snow, but I think it, I, I'm vibing with it. That Nordic vibe is coming through. So we have the yoga terrace in the snow. I mean, I'd be up for this. I don't know about you guys. You'd be absolutely freezing, but glad to know that it works anyway. The back of the spa, I can never like position it correctly because the camera just flies everywhere. But we've got a lovely big pool out here, which I love. Oh, I think that's a very nice look indeed. We'll have a little look at that a bit further on once we get into the interiors. So into the interiors we go. You come in through this way into the main foyer, the entrance. Oh, I'm feeling it. This is obviously what we've just been and gone and done. I did change out that aquarium up there. I just wasn't feeling it. So I put some more plants there. So the main entrance, the little chill out entrance nook, complete with a little fire. We got Finley and his bow over here having a little chat next to it. Oh, it's very, very cute. It really is. Um, we'll start with the basement area, I think, before we go upstairs. Let's get down to this level. So you can come out through this way onto the juice terrace, which I just think looks cosy um, next to the fire for all that water flowing for it. Um, we've got changing rooms, obviously. Um, I'll just show you one because they're both exactly the same. So we've got this little uh, get ready area over here. I had to change out the lockers for the spa day specific ones because those allow you to change into towels and the other ones didn't. So I've changed them out. Couple of showers, couple of showers and then also a toilet area as well down on this level. Uh, come through this way. And then as I said, there is an extra uh, changing room as well. Some vending machines. We've got ourselves a gym area in here as well. People were working out, but they've obviously stopped. Gorgeous. And then you come through in here into the spa, the hot springs where everyone's enjoying themselves. Beautiful. Got Lorena sat down there, just taking it all in. Why not? And then Dorothy about to get crunk. Are you going to have a dance, babes? Well, well okay. She's trying. <laughs> and then upstairs into... The main area itself. Oh, it looks gorgeous with the snow. Why did it look like the snow was coming in then? Oh, oh. Why is the snow coming in? No idea. The snow is coming in for some reason. That should not be happening. And then into, well, we'll go to the pool area first. So you come out onto the pool terrace. <gasps> this would be marvellous in the snow as well. All heated from the thermal hot springs. That's pumped up onto this level. Yoga terrace up that way. Beautiful, beautiful things. Let's go and have a look at the little um, treatment room, shall we? We'll go into this one here because someone's being massaged in this room. Um, so you come in through this way. Well, they were being massaged. How dare you ruin my little tour. But lovely little treatment room. Rather gorgeous. Works perfectly as well, which is what I wanted. And we've obviously got two more of them. One being a single one. And then into the mud bathroom. Rather gorgeous. Finley is getting a little cheeky foot massage in here. One thing that's annoying with this room, and I didn't really think about it, is I tried to get them to have a mud bath together, but because there's a therapist in here, they keep trying to get him to go out, but he won't go anywhere. So that area might not work, um, sadly. But I'm keeping it as it is, because aesthetics, you know? Anyway, this way. <laughs> Follow me. This way. 
Follow me into the meditation room. We've got these floating around. I was wondering what the hell was going on then. But she is obviously high skilled in meditation. So this room does work. They can use all of the meditation stools. I have checked it and it does work rather gorgeously. And then the piece de resistance is obviously the little cheeky sauna. We've got a couple of them in here, including... Um, oh, what are you called again? I can't remember, but she's a bitch. <laughs> Into the sauna area itself. And that's it. We're done. We are done with the Gaia Health Spa and Gym. And this is the final community lot for San Majuno. We're going to be moving on to the final apartments next week. So... Looking forward to that. Got some interesting characters, including a superhero to introduce you to. So that is what's going to be happening. Anyway, my loves, thank you so much for watching. I will be back tomorrow with another video. And I'm going to leave you here. Take care. Goodbye.